everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to apply custom fonts for vf page aura and lightning communities so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end you will be get to know about some extra knowledge in this video i hope so okay so let's get started without any further delay so now before starting this video and implementation you have to consider some prerequisite so what is the prerequisite in this you know implementation so first of all you have to download your custom fonts from the any website as you have let's say google fonts or uh, awesome fonts something like that so you can download from uh, that fonts that particular website and use it into the static resource right so i already configured this static resource with custom fonts so just you have to use your static resource inside your visual for space first of all let me show you the visual for space so under the pages folder you have to create a new page so i already created C css example page so dot page is the extension of the vf page right so in a uh, this folder structure but in your if you want to see this page into developer console so that uh, extension should be changed like dot vfp right so now here you can see the pages under these pages you have to design like this so standard style sheet i just make it as a false because i don't want to use salesforce style sheet that's why i make it as a false here and so header i don't want to take any header in the top and uh, if you want to use any static resource or CSS in a VF page, so just use this one style tag. This is an internal uh, style sheet. Under this internal style sheet, so you have to write your font face. So font face, under this font face, this is the CSS property, custom fonts, and SRC URL. And here you can see this is the URL coming from static resource. So you have to follow this one because right now, I already imported fonts into the static resource so this is the path resource assets folder under the assets we have another folder that is called assets and then the custom fonts and this is this is the extension of the custom fonts dot ttf this is the prerequisite after that you have to design your you know uh, element so in my case I am using only h1 heading so that's why I am referring this h1 into my you know internal style sheet and provide the font family as a custom font so custom font referring from here to here so this is the custom fonts right i'm using this custom form inside my you know this element sheet okay so this is the prerequisite under uh, if you want to design any vf page so you can use this type of css or better way you can use this style tag under this style here you can see this this number of line of code you can use inside any separate css and that css you can use inside your static resource and after that uh, you can use under here is uh, that is static resource inside this vf page so that is the other way to use the css and this is the another way to use the css inside vf page right so if you want to use uh, that case you can use it otherwise leave it as it is so for your better understanding purpose uh, I'm showing everything in a single page okay so now you can see here h1 and h1 style here you can see right so how to see the output of this VF page so if you want to see this page output uh, in Salesforce so just you have to open your org so here you can see this is my org and just open developer console there are so many ways to open the vf page one is a standardization and second this one developer console for your better understanding purpose let me open the op this uh, vf page under these things you can see the pages uh, under here we have lots of pages right so you have to search your pages so s let's say this is the css example right so this is my pages so same thing you can see under vs code as well developer console just let me click on this preview button and please see the output so now you can see the actual output here you can see right so it's a automatic apply this uh, fonts I already used that fonts that's why you can see the uh, font family like this so let me show you one thing for you 
right so let's say uh, i don't want to use this form right so i need default form so just let me show you for your better understanding purpose let me remove it let me save this once you save it now you can see the default this is a given by the framework we have page framework right so visual force page framework provide this default style and if you want to use any custom fonts so just you have to do same thing like this let me save it and it's an automatic change after the saving this now you can see it's an automatic change right so for example purpose uh, let's say i want to change this you know uh, this fonts so this is the another fonts right i need another fonts in my case so let's say under the static resource we have like four types of fonts here i want to use this uh, you know this font second fonts so let me copy this name and use it in my code let's say this one right so here to here you have to remove it and use this one save it once you save it now immediately you can see different fonts right this text is displayed using css so now you can see you can apply any kind of fonts right in un inside bf page so this is the way to apply custom fonts inside vf page in salesforce now it's time to learn how to apply custom fonts for aura aura component right so this kind of framework you have to remember vf page aura and lwc so if you don't know about lwc how to use that and how to apply this custom fonts inside the lwc so you can watch my previous video i already created uh, this custom fonts in uh, lwc so you can please watch it and please uh, again you can see this one right so now here let me show you i already created lightning component that is called aura component so how to open the aura component so under the open just click on this you know uh, here you can the page component something like that so or you can do file and open lightning resource so under the lightning resource you have to open this one <coughs> so we have application so let me open this application first selected now you can see the application because i need to so my custom fonts uh, this lightning application right so let me open this one and this is the component under this component we have like js css component something like that right so you have to use this one uh, component let me select this component and this is the component aura component if you want to see a style just click on this style i already created the style now you can see this do this and this one uh, provided by the aura framework so this is nothing but it's a current component right after that you have to use like this so previously we already use in vf page as well as, as lwc so you have to use like this once you use it aura framework is very smart to recognize your component let's say h1 so here you can see this so this is nothing but current component so under the current component if you have like zero component or more than zero component so it's automatic apply this font family or style in this component so right now i'm using only one you know html tag heading that's why it's automatic apply into this heading so how to use that so same process you have to create your css file and that css automatic apply in your component and after that you have to use this component inside your you know uh, lightning application so i already created this application now you can see my component inside this application so how to show the output just click on this preview button and once you click on this preview button you can see my output here this is heading here you can see this is heading and it is a custom fonts this is a custom fonts if you want to check it this is the custom or not just you can inspect it and after that you can see here let's say this one dot c custom fonts for aura right if you uncheck this one it's a automatic uh, change the fonts because of this are provided by the aura framework if you want to use your fonts so now you can see it's immediately you change this fonts right so now this is the way to apply uh, custom fonts for the aura component now it's time to learn 
how to apply this custom fonts inside my Salesforce Lightning communities that is called digital experience or digital cloud right experience cloud so how to use that let me show you so first of all under the Salesforce you have to create your you know communities so how to create the community very simple so under the quick find you have to search that is called digital so here digital once you select this digital let me refresh it first of all and here under the quick find just select digital and here under the digital in my case I already enable the community that's why you can see the all options all sides pages setting templates theme in your case you will be see only setting so under the setting you have to check the checkbox and save it and after some time it will showing all the options so just click on this all sides here and once you open this all sites now you can see I already created this community so let me open in builder so once you open the builder here right so now you can see this is a community builder right so under the community builder default fonts provided by the Salesforce so you will be see that this is the default fonts so now here you can see this is the default fonts everything you can see the welcome a place where you can easily find the solution and ask the question everything default fonts so how to override these fonts with my custom fonts so very simple in communities so under the communities right so you have to use this one here under the theme you can see the fonts under the fonts you can see the primary fonts header fonts text uppercase everything right so it's given by the Salesforce how to use our custom so just click on this one edit CSS and just click on this use override and you can write your CSS right so now I want to use that things inside this one so how to use that let me show you here in this one it is slightly different to use that uh, static resource inside your CSS in Salesforce communities so how to use that let me show you here so under edit CSS editor you have to write your CSS like this uh, under the you know communities so I already created this you know phone family something like that in my CSS right so you can use it like this slash s and then sf sites and then c and resource so this is the extra things in communities in uh, your component you can see only this kind of you know path here to here but in salesforce communities you have to use this one and once you use it let me save it once you save it immediately you can see here uh, the fonts is not changes why because you, you have to use here that is called use custom fonts so my custom fonts name is so how to find out just click on this one edit CSS and just copy this custom fonts cancel it and under here just use custom fonts paste it here save it and immediately it will be change your you know components so here you can see a place is automatic change now let me change the header as well use custom and uh, use this one save it and once you save it immediately welcome everything is changed okay now you can see this one so how to publish it so let me publish this community first and let me show you the preview of this community right so it's saved now so let me open this community in a new tab right so you will be see the different fonts of this you know font family in this community right so here just you can see and please observe everything is different uh, you know fonts family you can see ask a question welcome everything is convert into my custom fonts right so how to change the you know different fonts for this one so let me edit this one and let me use another one so under my VS code we have lots of fonts you know very well right so I want to use uh, let's say lemon or something like like aerobic right so let me show you the first of all we are using this one let me copy this lemon for your one or let's say this one right so let me copy this font style or font copy and paste it into my communities so just you have to remove it from here to here okay save it once you save it 
now you can see immediately everything is changed with my custom fonts let me publish this community and let me show you the preview of this community so once you publish you can see the actual uh, you know communities it's automatic change everything with my custom fonts so let me refresh it and you will be see my custom fonts so here now you can see here like welcome a place everything ask a question you can see everything is my custom fonts okay so this is how to apply custom fonts inside the salesforce lightning communities right so guys you already learned lots of things in this video if you like this video please like share and comments don't forget it to subscribe my channel right and uh, you already learned lots of things in this video let's say we have page aura lwc i already created one video previously and uh, Salesforce Lightning communities how to apply these all fonts inside this kind of framework so guys I hope you learned something new in this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching